Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hard Crime and Progress. I just did my second gauntlet and I got two combat tasks, 321 range and crystalline warrior. So 321 range is kill the crystalline hunlif without taking damage off prior, which is kind of bad that I didn't do it on the first try, but uh, I got it anyway. And crystalline warrior killed the crystalline hunlif with the full set of perfected armor equipped. I am going with teeth, uh, tier 3 armor at first. And I don't know if it's worth it on a regular gauntlet, but I still want to do it at first while I'm getting comfortable with the boss. Let's not forget to check the loot. And what? Oh, wait, is that just, that's just, uh, shit. <laughs> you know, I've watched so many people get baited by getting this thing and it's not, it's just like, you know, for like a crystal bow or whatever. And I still got baited somehow, <laughs> I don't know how. But uh, yeah, it's not the other uh, bow. And chest number three. Uh, standard. Hill number four, got the speed up there a little bit. So let's see what we get. Ooh, a dragon halberd, nice. There's kill count number five, and we get some dragon arrows. Number six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, got an elite clue. I'm gonna hand this in and get a master. Well, that was a very short-lived master. And that is number 10 kill count of the gauntlet. Number 15 complete, got a new PB as well, under 10 minutes. Oh, and I got a clue scroll too. It's not great. There's gauntlet kill number 20. Got the gauntlet master combat task. Okay, I finally got the uh, perfect crystalline hunlith. Uh, so I didn't take any damage from my tornadoes or off prior or anything like that. So uh, I am getting a little bit better. This thing gives loads of elite clues. I just got another one. Okay, so I need a black salamander for this clue, and the only way to get that is in the wilderness. I've always dropped this clue before when I got here, but I'm kind of tempted to make a quick little run in and just grab it, and then I'd have it forever, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure anyone's ever been this stacked going into the wilderness to hunt black salamanders, but I'll be damned if I get PK trying to catch a salamander. Okay, I've got them. Glad to have that out of the way, and now this is another clue step that I'm not going to have to drop, which is nice. Unfortunately got another wilderness step, so I'm going to hand this one in, but I'm glad I got the black salamander out of the way. Damn, another crystal weapon seed. I'm pretty sure this is the same rarity as the, uh, as the crystal armor seed, which is a lot more important, but these are not very good at all. Kill number 30. And that's number 50 gauntlet completed. As soon as I start getting a bit faster doing tier 3 prep, I may actually uh, start doing some Corrupted Gauntlet. The problem is, I've got to do it in like 7 minutes and 30 seconds, so the prep's the same for regular Gauntlet and Corrupted Gauntlet. But I'm taking like a little bit over that every time, so I need to do it a bit faster, get the prep done a bit faster, and then I honestly think I can beat the Corrupted Gauntlet. Okay, so I'm going to try and get at least one kill count at Corrupted Gauntlet. Now, if I don't manage to get tier 3 armor, I'm just going to leave before the boss, but uh, hopefully I'll manage to get it at some point. Let's go. Okay, that's the first Corrupted Gauntlet KC on the account. Hopefully I get an enhanced on the first one, that'd be nice. Unfortunately not, but I do get the Gauntlet Cape and I get 3-2-1 Mage and Corrupted Warrior Combat Tasks. And there's the second kill at the Gauntlet and an EPB. Another Elite Clue. And there's the Casket, let's see what we get. Oh, a master, okay. Well, shit, I don't have a Zamorak God Sword, so I can't do this, but uh, that's actually a good uh, reason to grind out Zami that I hadn't thought of before. I forgot about this clue, so next time I get a Greater Demon task, I'll, I'll do some more Zami. Third Corrupted Gauntlet complete. Number four. And there's number five, and we get the Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran Combat task as well. 
And that is my 10th Corrupted Gauntlet kill, so I get the Corrupted Gauntlet Master Task as well. Another Elite Clue. Okay, here's the Casket. And we get a Master. Well, never mind. There is CG completion number 20. And another Elite, I got so many here. So many Wilderness Steps. Another Elite Clue, oh my god. Managed to get a Casket this time. And not much, but that is our 100 delete clue. Okay, finally got the perfect corrupted Hunleth task complete, and that was number 30 as well. Another elite clue. There's the casket. Um, pretty bad. Another crystal weapon seed. I think that's three now. Let's check. Yep, that's three crystal weapon seeds, no armor seeds, no enhanced. I mean, I'm not at the drop rate, so I can't complain, but I wish I'd stop getting these weapon seeds. And there is Corrupted Gauntlet completion number 50. We get the Corrupted Gauntlet Grandmaster task, and I'm officially on drop rate for an armor seed. Another crystal weapon seed, oh boy. Uh, yeah, I'm really racking these up now. I'm on four. Can I get an armor seed, please? <laughs> Another elite really clue. It's actually been a while since my last one. You can tell by how much loot I've managed to stack up. And here's the reward. And another master clue. So I'm six steps into this master clue, but I need Briar Fighter's staff, so I, it's unlikely that I'm going to be able to get this. It's a pretty rare drop from Briar Fighter, and you have to kill a lot of Moss Giants for the keys, but I might do like a couple of kills just to see, just in case. I've been grinding away at Moss Giants here, trying to get a decent amount of keys stacked up so I can do some Briar Fighter kills. And I wasn't going to say anything, but this is my third curved bone. I've not even killed 1,500 of them yet. And that does number three. That's insane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just got a champion scroll. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got it in about 2,100 KC, which is under drop rate, but I suppose it's uh, inevitable that I'd get it sooner or later. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Well, I found quite a lot of mossy keys here, honestly, more than I was planning on getting, but I just got kind of into the zone with killing the moss giants, but uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get the essence with this, and if not, I'm probably done for now, because that was a lot of moss giants. There's kill number five, and I got the Briar Fighter champion task done. I think that's like all of them done now for Briar Fighter, so the only remaining purpose to killing her is to get the Briar Fighter's essence. Well, that is the final key I had. I'm on kill count 31. Still don't have the essence, unfortunately, but I've got a lot of beginner clues to open. This is what I'm still missing from the beginner treasure trails. I've got four items missing. Bare feet, the shoulder para, the sandwich lady hat, and the Zamorak ornament kit for the rune sim. And I've got 108 beginner caskets, so hopefully I get at least one of those items. Okay, sandwich lady top, but I've already got that one. Jester cape, I already got that too. Sandwich Lady Bottom? Can I, can I get the top, please? That'd be great. Amulet of Defense trimmed. Again, not a unique. Oh, it's a Gothix one. Okay. <laughs> Another defense amulet. Okay, last three clues. I don't think I'm going to get anything, unfortunately. That's a shame. Quite a lot of uniques, but nothing new. I was hoping I'd get at least one slot. Unfortunately, I think it's time to drop this master clue because I've had enough of Briar Fighter for now, but if I ever get this step again, I'll do some more kills. Hopefully I'll get it then. But uh, for now, goodbye. And there is 75 KC at CG. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Dragon Halberd. Nice, that's a decent out. Just got a new PB. 10 minutes, 12 seconds. Had a really fast hunt left there, I felt. So that's probably why. Let's go. I got the first Crystal Armor Seed on number 89. Went out of 50, but I'll take it. We got it eventually. Not too dry, honestly. Uh, five more of them to go. And of course, the Enhanced. But I'm, I'm glad I got my first thing here. Another new PB, got a sub 10 on that one. I think I just had a pretty fast prep time on there. And there's an elite clue, let's check it out. There it is, what's it gonna be? Uh, I'll take the purple sweets, I guess. And there is gauntlet kill number 100. That's quite a nice milestone to hit. Let's see what we get. Nothing. 
Another elite clue scroll. There's the casket. Let's see if we get anything good. Uh, no. Been doing a bit more Slayer, and I just got a Dust Battle Staff from a superior Kurask, which it's not one of like the, the good ones, like the Imbued Heart and stuff, but still kind of interesting. I've been trying out the new shooting stars for when I want to do something AFK, because this is just a pretty good AFK mining method, and I should have enough Stardust in my bank now to get the full Gold Prospector, so I think I'll go do that. So the star fragments cost 3,000 stardust each, but I've got 14,000, so I've got more than enough to get all four of my prospector pieces, and I think it's a collection log slot as well. So there's the first one, and do I just use it on this? Um, yep, so I just need to get three more of these. One, two, three, and then I'll have, oh, whoops, then I'll have full gold prospector, which I think looks pretty cool, so... And there it is, full gold prospector, which is nice, and we've greened the shooting stars log. Now that shooting stars give clues, I've also had enough clues to get a master clue scroll, so I might as well try one out. Well, it was worth a try, but I am not going to the wildy agility arena, so I'm just going to drop this. Another crystal weapon seed, no, I don't want any more of these, please. I want armor seeds. Let's go, just got the second crystal armor seed, that's two out of six, uh, that was on number 138, not bad at all. I've got an easy clue and a hard clue here. Oh, okay, uh, black skirt gilded, that's a collection log slot, that's pretty cool. Uh, see if we get anything from the hard casket. Nope, but I'll take the, I'll take the easy one, that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or something, but I've been doing some Slayer and I've just killed like 20 Bloodvels and I'm already sick of them, I just cannot stand Bloodvel tasks for whatever reason, like they're good XP, but at this point I don't even care about that, so I'm just gonna block them, they, they come up a lot, so there we go, add one to the block list, be gone. Got a Basilisk task awesome, another chance for the uh, the jaw. I'm trying to do a master clue here and I've got a fail of the bad step to have an infernal axe and I don't have one currently. But I do have one smoldering stone, so I think I'll use that on here. The only problem is I think there is another clue which needs an infernal pickaxe, which I also don't have, so maybe next time I get a hellhound task, I'll do um, some more Cerberus. Speaking of hellhounds, these are all the clues I got from my last task, which was a hellhound task, so let's see, three hard clues. Green Dragon Mask already got that, unfortunately. Uh, good Alks, but no uniques. Oh, the oh holy shit. Um... Uh, okay, I was... What the fuck? I don't know how to react to that. I just got third age. What the fuck? That's worth 20 mil. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, that caught me a bit off guard. So that's on the, uh, super rare? Like the mega rare stuff? Uh, I'm completely lost for words. Oh my god. I just got third age. I, uh, bleh. Okay, I've taken a minute to compose myself here after just getting third age and I was just looking up the drop rate and it is, uh, it's not that rare, it's only 1 in 211,000 to get. So, you know, not that rare, so that's like, for every reward slot, I think it's an average of 5 for clues. So that's like 1 in 40,000 chance I got that on clue 254. That is absolutely insane. Well, let's put it on. I didn't even recognize what it was at first. But, yeah, I just was not expecting to see that. That is awesome. I mean, I don't know if it's got any use, but I, 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 don't, I don't care. You don't use the third age for the use. It's just because it's really, you know, cool, I guess. Well, I guess I'll open the master as well. But, uh, unfortunately for the master, that's a tough act to follow. It's probably not going to compare. I uh, love again, sure, I already got that. But, uh, damn, that's uh, it's just not really important, is it? Well, I really cannot think of a better way to end the episode than that. Third Age has like always been one of the things I've wanted to get since I first heard of them back in way back in RS2. So to finally actually get one is kind of surreal to be honest, but it's there. I've got it equipped, so uh, yeah. Um, so leagues is starting soon, so I'm going to be taking a bit of a break from the hardcore. But we've made a good start on CG, and hopefully we make some more progress towards getting the bow for next episode. But in the meantime, I will probably be making some videos on leagues, so stay tuned for them. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, see you in the next one.